Let it rip! You, s you have to count to three first or it doesn't count. Those are the official Beyblade rules. No, oh, I fucked everything up then. Oh yeah. no! Ooh, that was close. I, I think there may actually be an episode where, like, someone actually, like, fails to count to three and they, like, restart. Really? I think there might be. I think that might happen, like, exactly one time. What happened to the days of giving you a fucking fairy before you gotta go fight the boss? What, when, when, it, where did those days go? Bullshit. I was gonna make a really tasteless joke that probably would've been funny, but I'm gonna decline. Oh, well, that's too bad. Do you, do you want it? No, I can sorry, give it to it's, you. It's too late now. You've already, uh, the moment has passed. Okay, good. What's in here? <laughs> Look at this guy. I will fight him. I think you won. Oh. How did you get close enough to hit it? I'm way better at the Beyblade. You're way better. <laughs> <laughs> you still live! How astonishing! Ribitu! But this bittersweet reunion must end. I'm not pressing the button, I don't know why. I know, it's doing that for me too. Uh -huh. Something, something, I'm very scared. <laughs> Ribitu! You got the sweet sword. Arise! Why not fight me instead of just like. It, it does seem like a peculiar tactic to, like, make a really cool sword and, like, not sword fight with it. I know, right? It also seems weird to, like, power your, like, ancient dragon skeleton with a sword. And also, like, your ancient dragon skeleton. Like, it's only half of a skeleton. Like, he doesn't have legs, he can't move, he's just stuck in the sand. It does seem- well, I mean- like, can't actually do much to hurt me. I, you know, that actually makes me think of another funny thing that would, that you could do with, like, a boss level. What's that? I mean, like, we've already talked about how, like, ridiculous the notion of, like, temples are right. in general. Right. But, like, what if it was that, like, there was, like, important relics, like, hidden in the temples, but, like, the bad guy was, like, using whatever he had lying around to, like, act as obstacles to you. It wasn't like it was built to protect them. It was just sort of, like, the bad guy, like, sees you there. He's like, shit, he's gonna get the Beyblade. What do we have? Uh, half a dragon skeleton. <laughs> I mean, not my first choice, but sure. I guess we can go with Yeah. That. I mean, that that's like almost what like Yoshi's story was doing with Comet. Like in, in Yoshi's story, like Comet would just sort of like be at the end of like the boss levels uh -huh. and there'd just be sort of like an enemy there and Comet could be kind of like, I, I, you go do it. And he would, like, do magic to him and, like, turn him into a boss version of himself. And he would sort of be like, ah, good, it's a bird. Hey, bird, fight him. I hit him in the hand. You did. I thought for a second you were going to, like, ride up his hand and, like, hit him in the head. I cannot activate my thing here. Nope. Not while you're standing on sand. You know what Professor Oak would say? But there's a time for everything, and this is not it. Or right. something like that. I forget the exact phrasing. Do you remember it? Ow. Was that it? Was that the phrasing? Was it out? I don't believe it was out, no. Ah, you can't get me. Maybe, maybe not. Look at all them zombies! Oh, motherfuckers, get out of my way. I've gotta kill the guy. Ah, look out! Oh. Isn't this all, like, slightly more annoying than you remember? Um, no, it's actually just as annoying as I remember. Maybe I had a really easy run the first time I did this, because I remember this part being, like, more straightforward. Oh, motherfucker. Yeah, you're, you're, the t your timing is, like, unfortunate. Hey, look at that. Nope. Nope. I mean, one of my favorite things about, like, the Beyblade anime is, like, at the times when they, like, use their tops for things other than just, like, a straight-up Bay battle, yeah. and they'll, they'll, like, try and, like, solve a problem by using a Beyblade at it, every time it looks ridiculous, because they're just sort of like, and then, like, the top just, like, tink, 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 just, like, keeps bumping into something. It's like, how could that possibly be the desired result? <laughs> I'm gonna get him. One of these days, bang, zoom, straight to the Sarlacc pit. Got him. Which is actually the name of the venue for my Beyblade tribute. <laughs> Oh, I fell over. Oh, I fell over again. Boop touch. Yep. I'm glad you know the reference. Of course. I love that movie. That was a good movie. We should watch that we movie. We should. 
It's been years. It's one of the, there's like a, a handful of movies recently I've been like, I would really like to watch that again. Yeah. Sand. Well, congratulations. Where did that pot come from? <laughs> it's like under the sand, I guess. All right, give me your give me your thing now. Can I leave? Oh, yeah. I, gotta, I gotta do this now, right? Yeah, you gotta do humping. They're humping. The ukulele is not a metaphor. <laughs> Oh man. Uh, it's like we speak thing. another language. I know. I feel bad for everyone else yeah. that has to listen it, to us. I mean, I, I, it really did sort of click in my head when we were watching Top Gear together recently. Yeah. And we were both sort of like, I don't understand this topical political <laughs> reference <laughs> from England. Yeah. And then it was sort of like, yeah, I don't know how anyone could hope to understand, like, half of an episode that we do together. Mm. You fell you fell down. Hey speaking of people that do listen to us. <laughs> yeah okay. Um I got a nice present um from a fan today. You did! You told me about uh, it. Uh she gifted us a game that we will play in the future on Wildcard Wednesday. So Woo! keep an eye out for that. Thank you very much for your gift. Spring break! It's very very generous. Alright I have to get off now. Too slow it looks like he's like panting really heavily. Like it's a yeah. lot of strain to be flying. Like, <sighs> okay, nah. in one second, one second. Oh bullshit! Right? This, uh, this guy, this fucking guy. Am I right? This fucking guy. You are right. And when you're right, you're right. And yeah. you're right. And when you're right, you're not left. You're on the right side. Yeah. I like how Link spins. I know. I was just thinking that too. He's just like, eh. it's like the most annoying thing. Why I have, can't this be still? I have to imagine that this is just the worst. Bring it, motherfucker. You know, actually, I suppose this game would have come out, like, right around the time that Beyblade was actually kind of a big deal. Is that true? I wonder if this was actually in some way inspired by the popularity of Beyblade. It's totally possible. Bah, 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 bah. Attack his hard points directly. Do you know what that's from? Other than me saying that at you? Isn't that from Yu-Gi-Oh? Technically, it's from, like, a spin-off of Yu-Gi-Oh. Called Dungeon Dice Monsters, which has like all the same monsters as Yu-Gi-Oh, but dice, instead but like of... dice instead of cards. That's weird. It is weird. That's actually kind of an interesting game. Uh, they, when they ported it to the U.S., they made a really like shitty version of it. However, there is a Game Boy Advance version of the game that has all the, like the normal rules and stuff intact, and it's actually a really fun game. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I've logged a weird number of hours on that game, considering how obscure and weird it is. All right then. Oh, and this is the worst position for him. It's to be not there. great. Because, like, when you dodge him, you're gonna. Like, this happened to me also, where you're just sort of gonna be on the floor. And, uh. Oh, you just barely made it. Oh, I think it's. Oh, oh, come on! This guy! I what waited. is his deal? I waited because I was worried that if I didn't wait, that he would, uh. I know, I'm pretty sure that's enough. a thing. I'm yeah. pretty sure that's a thing. Yeah. I don't blame you at all. Yeah. But you got super late. There's something- there's just something about this guy, I don't know. He's probably the trickiest boss so far. Oh, bullshit! And he's gonna come after me now, isn't he? I don't know. I think he waits. I think you were right when you theorized that when I was playing this. I think he does wait. I think he waits that long. See, look here. Really? There's yeah, the motherfucker know. right there. I, f I feel like he's being ag more aggressive towards you than he was for me. I feel like he was waiting longer to, like, try and attack. See, there was no way. There I was no way you were doing that. Was not gonna work. Can we go the other way? Is that possible? No. no, I don't think so. Yeah, you would just go into the ground even if you could. Yeah, that's a good point. But yeah, like I can't imagine why you would make like an item in your fantasy game like a steampunk Beyblade if you weren't trying to like cash in on a popular idea. Yeah. Like I just it doesn't make sense. It's such a weird thing. Bring it, motherfucker. Oh, that's you know what? That's what this game needs. This game needs like a battle with Shadow Link, so you can have like a proper Bay battle. Oh my God! You like Shadow fight each Link other in a battle. giant bowl, and then you just like Bay battle. It'll be great. Ah, uh -huh, motherfucker! You are going down. I'ma slash your face. Uh oh. Oh, motherfucker! Come back here. He was, like, flying with his face, like, directly in the yeah, ground. Have you seen, um, The Good Dinosaur, the new Pixar thing? Is it out already? Yeah, it is. Yeah, oh, it was out for, like, Thanksgiving. Is it good? It's pretty good. It's it's in, like, the sort of, like, B-tier Pixar stuff. Like, solid movie, like, not on par with, like, the really great Pixar stuff. 
was the wrong button. But, like, uh, it reminded me of that because, like, the the main character is, like, a brontosaurus thing. Uh -huh. And he's, he's, like, he lives with his family of brontosaurus, and they do, like, farming. And they, like, just, they, to, like, till the ground, they just, like, shove their face in it and, like, drag it along the ground. It looks really <laughs> stupid. dinosaurs? Yeah, the dinosaurs do. It's really strange. That's hilarious. But, like, th that, the thing he was doing where he, like, flew away with his face in the ground really yeah, reminded me of that. that. Yeah. I watched Inside Out on the plane for Thanksgiving, though. Oh, yeah? What, what did you think of that? I don't think you... Don't so, think about it. Oh, it is possible to miss. So I, th I found the premise to be kind of stupid, and I wasn't super excited about it. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, I gotta be honest, I got a little misty. It's, it's, it is a very emotional movie, which is, like, somehow, like, kind of ridiculous, but also, like, entirely expected, considering yeah. it's literally about emotions. Yeah. Like, they did a really good job with that, and... Like, I do have some issue on some level with the fact that, like, the story seems, like, impossible to follow for a young kid. Yeah. Like, it's just too high concept. Yeah, I, that's what I was wondering. It's like, so it got me in the fields, but I don't think any child would, like, Yeah, it, it definitely... Concept, I feel like it might be, like, the first Pixar movie that feels more aimed at adults than kids. Yeah, really. Like, a kid could still watch it, but I don't think, feel like a kid can necessarily fully appreciate it. Yeah. Um, I mean, and, like, the main, the main like, like, conceit of the movie is that, like... Like, mixed emotions are an okay, like, positive thing. Yeah. Like, like the whole thing is, like, growing up. Yeah. So, like, the thing that gets you is, like, oh, growing up is a thing. Yeah. But, like, as a child, Yeah, a kid like, has no context for that. I don't understand that. They're, they're, like, they have no emotions. Also, just the fact that, like, the, the main, like, device of, like, cause and effect between the outside world and, like, the emotion world, like, I feel like that's difficult for a kid to track. Yeah. I also it really enjoyed the very end where they revealed like a bunch of other people's internal emotion things. Yeah. And I feel like that was a huge missed opportunity. I feel like I have the impression it's something that they like thought about doing more and for some reason decided against. Mm. Do you think they'll like sequel it or something? It seems possible. Uh, the only other thing, like I felt like the actual like main journey of that movie was a little bit Mm -hmm. Like, simple. Yeah. Like, the actual, like, them questing inside of her, like, yeah. mind. Yeah. Which is, like, very... I, I feel like they could have made a much richer world with, yeah. like, interesting stuff. I agree. Alright, so if you've enjoyed my, um, my playthrough and you just... Then high five! Oh, you did it. I did. If you want to just continue with the story, click over here on the right side. And if you want to watch Vasco's playthrough, click over here on the left side. I hope you're ready for, like, three hours of boss fight. Yay! Twinkle, twink, twinkle, twink. It's a good song. Not as good as Beyblade theme, though. No. Beyblade! Beyblade! Da 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 da